All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope uh, you guys are doing good. And as I promise you, I will not leave you without videos when I am away. Uh, so this video is scheduled to appear in a certain time. During the time, I will be away. Uh, as we see in the front of us in the screen, uh, this is what is called the Doom or the Rock uh, Mosque in uh, Jerusalem. But we know that this mosque, you know, built long time after Muhammad's uh, death. And there was never such a mosque. And actually all the stones and the rocks are taken from other places and the Muslims have nothing to do with it. Which means even the rocks of those, <coughs> of this mosque, is not made by the Muslims. And actually the Muslims do not know until now how to build any building uh, can be considered as something valuable. All the mosque in the Middle East built by Christians or it used to be Christian churches And this is this one is no different <coughs> Now today uh, <coughs> If you remember uh, Muhammad used to pray in the direction of Jerusalem But during that time what was the value of the Hajj for Muhammad? Did Muhammad praise the Hajj or praise the Kaaba? Did Muhammad really uh, encourage Muslims to do Hajj? The answer is no. <clears throat> you see, Muhammad is a hypocrite man. As long as the Kaaba is not his in his hand, so the Kaaba is nothing. It's not important. It's a stupid place. It is not even holy, and it's worth nothing. And I will prove it to you today. Muhammad reported many times how you can get your deeds as a Muslim. And your deed <coughs> as a Muslim can be earned in many ways. As an example, if you say uh, after the prayer, uh, praise be to Allah 100 times, all your sin will be forgiven even if it is more than the form of the sea. I mean, imagine, just say 100 times. Which, obviously, it's a stupid thing to say. You know, what about, even if it is more than the form of the sea, just because I say 100 times, praise be to Allah, praise be to Allah. So now I can, I can write a, a, a 1,000 million books insulting Allah. And then I say, Praise be to Allah 100 times, all my sin is gone. <clears throat> I do not even need to repent. You know, just say 100 times, praise be to Allah. All right. In the hadith, he says, if you say 100 times, Allahu Akbar, <laughs> you know, or as you see here in the translation, which is not really saying that. Uh, but anyway, it says, <clears throat> I will read for you translation as it is. The one who say Allahu Akbar 100 times, praise Allah. Uh, say Alhamdulillah 100 times. And glorify Allah saying Subhanallah 100 times. That is the better than 100 horse. He own. What? He want to give for the sake of Allah, like to do jihad. What kind of religion this religion is? I just say repeat things. You see, Jesus say, don't repeat. You know, don't 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 repeat your prayer. You know, simply it's it's not smart. What do you mean if I say that? Uh, you know, if I say that one hundred time, it's better than this. However. Our topic is about the Hajj. Let me show you what Muhammad said about the Hajj. <clears throat> is the Hajj really important? How much important? How much blessing a Muslim he will get from the Hajj? Muhammad he said, the Messenger of Allah said, whoever glorified Allah hundred times in the morning and hundred times in the night, he liked the one who performed Hajj a hundred times. <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, so what the Hajj for? <laughs> you know, Muslims, are you stupid or what? Why you want to do Hajj? Just say 100. I mean, do you know? Do you know the Hajj? How how uh, uh, how costly it is? You might even die. You know, thousands of people every year they die when when they go to Saudi Arabia because it's very stupid to do Hajj. You know, it's a very small, tiny town. The Kaaba is a small, tiny building. Even though, like, they're trying to make it bigger and added added more land to it, but it's small. You know, it doesn't doesn't. You know, it's smaller than a small, the smallest stadium for football in the world. And then there is two millions; they want to come and do Hajj. Now, just to remind you, uh, uh, you know, the idea of the Hajj as a must by itself, if you can, supposedly, uh, is stupid. Why? Because if Muhammad God is real God, he should know that the Muslims now is over one billion. So if only 10% of the Muslim decide to come to Hajj this year, that's mean 100 million people they have to come to Mecca, and that is impossible. Mecca cannot even the Kaaba cannot take even one, you know, uh, 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 one thousand people, one one hundred thousand. So what they do? I mean, you know, they, they they go in a circle and they move the people and they push them out, and then a new new wave will come. But after all the pushing and and putting them together and force them together, they cannot hardly they can make two millions. And we know how many people die. If you fell in the ground, you can't stand up because it's so crowded. So now, why I want to do Hajj? What what is Hajj for? If all what I need. To get better than 100 time Hajj, you see what he's saying. If you say, if you glorify Allah in the morning 100 time and 100 time at night, is the like who perform Hajj a hundred time? So I can perform Hajj a hundred time every day. You see, Muslims. How many Hajj you will do in the whole life? How many times you can do it? Two, three times? Unless you are rich, you know, you can go every day, every every weekend for vacation because Mecca is a very well known as a city of drugs and prostitution. There's a places in Mecca, nobody even there to get in for it is haram. <laughs> because it's haram because the drug dealers is controlling it. So whoever will glorify Allah and a, a, a hundred times in morning, and a hundred in the night, he is like the one who performed Hajj a hundred times. What is that? So the Kaaba is not important. No, the Kaaba is important. Muhammad, when he said this story, he was not holding the Kaaba. He is just being hypocrite. The Muslims, they are pagan. The same as Muhammad, and they used to go and do Hajj, taking off their clothes, walk naked around the Kaaba. Women showing their vagina, men they pushing their their penis inside the black stone. The women she touch her vagina with, when she have a blood from period. She put her hand inside the black stone, and this is how supposed to they get the bread. Neck. And now they miss it. So Muhammad, in order to cool them down, they are kicked out of Mecca, according to Muslims, and as they say. And by the way, the word kick out is not really literally accurate. They kicked out in the meaning they were rejected. It was the Muslims who leave by themselves, not as the Muslims they said to us, they kicked them and they took their property. It's a lie. It is a big fat lie. Uh, because if this is true, they can kill them all. I mean, they, they used to be a small uh, group. You know, the uh, Quraysh can kill them in one day. You know, but they did not. It's a lie. Uh, uh, and you will see Muhammad going with his uh, donkeys and uh, horses or camels, whatever you know, and uh, and Abu Bakr. Nobody killed them. Why they don't chase them? Let us say you leave. You know they can chase it, chase you. A guy who is living with women and children like Aisha, it's very easy to chase by fighters who they have nothing except their horses. They can find them and chase them. Anyway. But because Muhammad at that day, he is not in control of Mecca. So he wanted the Muslims not to think too much of the Hajj. 
it's not really important just say 100 time in the morning Allahu Akbar say 100 time in the morning and afternoon uh, at night uh, praise be to Allah Alhamdulillah subhanallah you know that's it you get to heaven who need the Kaaba anymore <laughs> but when he went and he controlled Mecca suddenly the Kaaba is so important and it's a must for every Muslim to perform Hajj this is how hypocrite false this prophet is it depends who is controlling the, 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 the supermarket. If the supermarket controlled by my enemy, oh, don't go there. The business there is not good. Who need it? Say, you know, why you want to shop from there? You, you know what? Say Alhamdulillah 100 times in the morning. Say Alhamdulillah 100 times at, at night. It's better than 100 times. Better than 100 times? That's it. You see, he did not say better than like one time Hajj. No. Better than hundred time Hajj. I hope the Muslims they see how much hypocrite he is. Now the Muslim they will say to you this hadith is daif as usual. However, this is not daif. This is in a Sunan Jamia al Tirmidhi, and in the same time, just to let you know, daif is accepted. Oh, what you need to do? I need to remind the Muslims every day I speak. You can go right now to uh, shake. Hamza and Sir Sheikh Hamza Hadith Daif and you will say Sheikh Hamza he explained to you that Daif my friend it pass it pass it's accepted <laughs> this is why it's called Daif actually because it have a rank you see the Hadith which does not have a rank it is the one is rejected the Hadith which has a rank is the one which is accepted you know, like when you say in the army, there is a soldier, there is a, a, a sergeant, there is a lieutenant, like there is a general. So, the, as long you have, you know, there is a specialist. When, as long you have a rank, that's mean you are enlisted. And this is exactly what the stupid Muslims they try to fool us with. They say to us, "It is daif to make us believe." It is not accepted. It is accepted. Big deal, actually. This is how stupid this religion is. I hope we learn something for today. Please feel free to download the video and share it with your friends. And until I see you soon again with live broadcast, I hope we will uh, 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 we will have a better time in as usual live podcast and uh, you know when i finish my vacation for sure um i will start doing uh, my uh live podcast you know uh, my vacation is very simple it's it's uh, it is vacation and work at the same time uh, i skip winter harsh winter at the same time i do some good work uh, overseas so it's a vacation and it is work in the same time so I want to say thank you for those who support what we do and they keep supporting us um, always and otherwise actually uh, my trouble and uh, the, the, the things I do will not be able to be done unless people they support what I do so thank you very much and God bless you and see you soon again bye bye